Mother Nature is caring, loving, and providing. But sometimes, she's also terrifying. These Reddit users have seen her dark and spooky side. They've been through the worst, and fortunately, they all lived to tell the tale. The question is, are you ready to face it and learn about her chilling, uncanny secrets? Now, imagine it's a beautiful Sunday, and you decide to do some gardening. You grab your tools and head outside, but once you start digging to plant some flowers, your hand touches something slippery, yet also sticky. And the worst part is, it's moving. You're shaking with fear, but find the courage to look at what it is. You become filled with a great relief, because fortunately, that's not a snake. It's an enormous earthworm. Well, we don't know why this Reddit user was digging the earth up, but that's exactly what they found. And if you take a look at the photo carefully, you'll notice that it's not the entire length of the worm. Some part of it is still underground, so it's actually even longer than it appears to be. Here are two fun facts about earthworms for you. The first one is they can regenerate to some degree if you cut them in two. And in some species, you can even end up with two worms. And the second one is, the longest earthworm ever recorded was 21 feet in length when naturally extended. So, this guy hadn't even seen the worst. Take a look at these two crows standing on a fence. Do you notice that one of them is hiding a bone in its beak? Well, it's kind of spooky. In almost every gothic novel, crows and ravens are bad omens. Well, we all know this is just superstition. But it may actually have originated from the fact that crows are extremely intelligent and cunning. They can recognize individual human faces. They can gossip about you to the other crows. They use tools to solve problems. And they can plan for the future. But the most interesting thing is, they can hold grudges against people who are cruel to them and even pass those to their offspring. The same goes for people who are kind to them as well. Once they love you, they'll be your friend for a lifetime. So, this Reddit user must have done something right to be rewarded by these crows. Now, let's take a look at the photo that the next Reddit user shared. The tiny pearl-like things you see on the kitchen window are no gemstones, they're actually eggs. But of what exactly? That we may never know, but plenty of Reddit users in the comment section say they might be moth eggs or stink bug eggs. Either way, it seems like the person who posted the photo needs to do some thorough cleaning to get rid of them. If you're having the same kind of problem at your house, here's a tip on how to get rid of moths. Wash and scrub any areas you found larvae or eggs with a vinegar and water solution. If you have stink bugs, add dish soap to that mixture. Okay, this next photo was not originally shared on Reddit, but it's certainly worth mentioning when it comes to how scary nature can be. The photo is captured by a woman driving home in Minnesota. And let me tell you, this is not photoshopped or edited in any way. I bet it reminds you of that wave scene in Interstellar, right? One Reddit user even called the photo Cloudception. Guess all of us can agree, there's some sort of Christopher Nolan movie vibe going on there. The lady who took it, on the other hand, officially named it Ocean in the Sky. Well, that fits too. One meteorologist said the photo is so rare and unique that there are clouds in it that even she herself had never seen before. So it's no wonder it went viral on social media platforms. Let's be honest, each one of us probably drew a lightning bolt on our forehead and pretended to be Harry Potter at least once in our lives, but the next photo one Reddit user shared might change the way you view lightning bolts. The truck you see there, which belongs to their coworker, got struck by lightning. But as you might have guessed, the damage was done by fire. The user says the truck burned for about 10 minutes at a super high temperature before it was put out by fire extinguishers. So, it was not instant damage. To all the comic book fans out there, this is your reminder to not attempt any lightning bolt experiments to become the Flash. This wind turbine looks so sad it's almost heartbreaking to look at, right? Well, the story behind it is upsetting indeed, but in a scary way. The Texan Reddit user who posted this photo explains that the wind turbine was hit by a tornado. 
But these comments might cheer you up and get your mind off of how frightening tornadoes can be. One Reddit user says the wind turbine looks like its mom told it it can't go to the thing. Another one suggests that the tornado took things personally and got revenge on the wind turbine for thinking it can harness the power of the wind. And one other describes the wind turbine to look like a giant robot palm tree. What's worth mentioning here is that it's a good thing the blades of the turbine didn't snap off, because if they had, the consequences would have been much more destructive. This next one might be the weirdest yet. Those toes don't belong to a forest gnome or any other fantastical creature, even though this photo sure looks like it's out of a fairy tale. And I know you're thinking about it, so let me just clarify that it's not a zombie trying to crawl its way out of the ground either. These are actually a type of fungus that is commonly known as dead man's fingers. They can generally be found in forests or any other woodland area, usually growing from the bases of rotting or injured tree stumps and decaying wood. They're fairly common in the UK, Ireland, mainland Europe, and parts of North America. The funny thing about them is the fingers vary in appearance at different stages of their life cycle, so in that manner, it's like a real human being whose body changes as they grow older. You can probably tell by the way it looks that it's very dangerous to eat one. They're very poisonous, so good thing the Reddit user who posted this photo didn't try to get a taste of it. Even Ant-Man couldn't handle this wasp. This Reddit user woke up one day only to find one monstrous wasp in their basement. Look at that giant stinger it has! It almost seems like no beekeeping clothing would protect you from it. This species of wasp is called cicada hawks, which is due to the fact that they hunt cicadas and provision their nests with them. They can be found in the eastern and midwest US, as well as in southern parts of Mexico and Central America. Female cicada hawks use their stings to paralyze their prey, rather than to defend their nests. Unlike most other wasps and bees, they do not sting unless they're handled roughly. On the other hand, male cicada hawks only fight with other insects and cannot sting. And in case you're wondering, they're generally not aggressive towards humans and usually fly away when swatted at. Phew! The last Reddit user we have for you today used to keep their duck eggs in the pantry. One day, they went and checked the place after hearing a lot of noise coming from there. And what they found was two snakes wrapped around the eggs. Well, at least the ones that the snakes didn't eat yet. But the crazy thing is, when the Reddit user got rid of them both and came back, they found another one in there. And this time, there weren't any eggs left. If only they could speak parcel tongue, things would be so much easier. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.